Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a new keyboard from I Love Bean. They came onto the scene uh, with two keyboards, the I61 and the I87, a 60% and a, a TKL. Both, um, I think when they first released them, they were under $30. Now, roughly, you can find them for roughly that price. I think uh, the I61 is a bit cheaper. I think it's $30 for the TKL. Uh, <clears throat> solid keyboards, uh, decent closed source software, but good budget keyboards at a decent price. And I've, I've actually, I have bought at least half a dozen. I love these and one or I-87s, I believe, and two I-61s, and have modded them and given them to friends. They're easily modded. Long story short, I Love B reached out to me, and they said they had a new keyboard they just released, the B-87, which is also a TKL, but it has a knob, and they asked me if I'd like to take a, if I wanted to review it, and I said, absolutely, I'd love to take a look at it. So that's what we're doing today. We're taking a look at the I Love B, B-87, which... It says that it's a QMK, but also a tri-mode keyboard. For those of you that QMK really only works wireless with like two or three MCUs, the chance that, that this has it is low, but I'm open-minded. I'm willing to see what we have here. Um, I'm thinking that it's actually just a closed source Maya and they're confusing the two but we will see as we get into it so without further ado let's go ahead and open the box and see what the i love b b87 has in store for us so before we take a look at the keyboard i like to take a look at what's in the box it looks like we've got a standard wire switch and keycap puller a standard usb a to usb c cable with a rubberized finish and three extra switches as well as an extra key. Now let's check out these switches. Give them a go real quick. No ping. It is a long pull. I would say 3.4, 3.5 travel. They are branded I Love Me. I if I had to guess it's a it's a probably a palm housing palm body, but I'm not that good at feeling plastics out. So it is a nice, snappy, has a kind of a high, higher pitched, um, not quite, but almost glassy tone to it. We also have a user manual, user guide card. Tells us everything that's included. Detachable rotary knob. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, maybe it's just talking about how the knob can be removed. Yeah, I don't think this is a hot swap knob. But we have all of the functionalities. I keep this to the side for right now. And here we are with the I Love B B87 of TKL. This one is the mauve. They have one that's red and one that's mauve. Um, they asked me if I wanted to pick a color. I went ahead and picked the mauve color because I am a retro kind of guy. Now we have a raised logo over here. It's actually not awful looking. We have a live fast, drive faster, kind of just a plastic bar there. We do have a pocket for the 2.4 and thankfully they have branded um, their dongle, which is much appreciated. So we don't have to worry or wonder what keyboard this might go to. We have G for 2.4 and B for Bluetooth. And we have the port for the USB. We also have two sets of feet. So we'll have three typing angles. It does look like we have what looks like to be an LED window on both sides. There is a very interesting design to the profile. Here we have the knob. And it is a hot swap knob. Okay. So, wow. Now this... Skyloom are the first that I've seen with the hot swap knobs. Now, this isn't the same connector as those. They use a pogo pin setup. But I've got to say, this is 
pretty cool because now you're giving people the option whether they want to use a key or not. And I think this keyboard is a uh, 50 bucks roughly. So that's pretty good at this price point for a TKL. Now let's see what we've got under here. We do have some double shot with, I'm pretty certain, our PBT keycaps. They come with a 1.5 millimeter thickness, which is pretty good. Uh, that's on the higher end of what keycaps, especially stock keycaps are. I mean, there's sets that you can buy that sometimes aren't this good. Got this I Love B linear switch. I would guess it's probably about a 42 gram, 45 gram weight spring. It's light, but not the lightest. Uh, it does look like we have leaf mounted stabilizers that, oh, they are well attached. There's absolutely almost no wiggle to them whatsoever. Take them out of here. We see that they are nicely lubricated, not over lubricated, just enough, just enough for it to be sufficient and at the right spots too. Very nice. And they do feel like they're the newer palm like stabilizers. Now, peeking down into the PCB, it does not appear like we have the possibility for screwing stabilizers, but at least we have pretty good stabilizers that are included. We, it also appears like, yep, we have a PET layer above the PCB with an IXPE layer above that. So we have the hi-fi layers. Look at that. Yep. These plate mounted stabilizers are quite well attached. And I know that a lot of people would prefer the option to uh, put in uh, screw in stabilizers. I think that a lot of these plate mounted stabilizers as of late are becoming so good. I mean, the, these are, they're so well, the tolerances are so close that it almost feels like it's a part of the plate. Now we do have a south facing three and five pin hot swap compatible PCB. And it does look like we have what appears to be a PC plate and it's gasket mounted. Now to open this keyboard, it looks like we're going to have to go through several screws. So we will do that on the next time that we come to revisit this keyboard. So today we're just sticking with a stock view of it. definitely has that hi-fi tone, though it is on the deeper side, where some of them are more on the raindrop side. This is more on the tile marble side, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what the RGB looks like. Oh, that was like instant. Very nice. That plate's definitely helping to diffuse those lights uh, from the PCB. And it looks really nice. I'm actually I'm liking the design of this. There's the uh, RGB on the side. It's just a little window, but it seems familiar. There's been a lot of designs that have that side RGB, and a lot of people really like it. So uh, this is automatically volume. So just on quick examination, they have a link on the Amazon page. I'll put it down because it's kind of hidden um, and it it has a hex file and it has the QMK flashing instructions but I don't see the QMK source so I am going to reach out to them and I will update to see if this truly is a QMK keyboard wow and where's the source so um, I just really quick and via I was able to put in some key codes that I usually cannot with the closed source file and being that it has a hex file and they actually have a link to the QMK toolbox to, to flash the hex file, it looks like it, it truly is. And I'm just kind of, I'm like, wait, what? And it, they, 
unlike other vias that have wire uh, that has have wireless functionality, they'll have a JSON file for the 2.4 and for USB. This one only has wired mode. There is no extra 2.4. So, like I said, between the hex file, the QMK toolbox download, um, this may actually be a QMK keyboard, which, holy mackerel. I mean, <laughs> 50 bucks for a QMK Hi-Fi TKL with a replaceable hot swap knob and hi-fi layers hmm. let me think about this that, that's a, that's a yes for me wow i am i'm honestly i'm just uh i'm absolutely blown away that's just crazy so we do have the layers the way they're set up is that uh, actually on this one usually on most keyboards the zero and the one if you have a via it would be for Mac, but the first two layers are for Windows. The second two layers are for Mac. Um, and it does seem to have all the functionality. And it looks like you can pass things through down into the QMK firmware. So again, I've got to take a look at that because um, that's just insane. We've got thick keycaps, very nice switches. I don't know who manufactures them. I don't know too much about them, but I like them. We have a great out of the box stock sound. Stabilizers sound great. Okay, yeah, they have just minor lights. We can see that there's a charging light there. It's red. So I'm going to guess that's probably the color. We have a cap sock indicator there. Probably doesn't come through well on the camera, but let me turn them on. You can see this one's a little red. Or can you? Camera will pick it up a little red, and these are white. So. so, I mean, this is actually a pretty decent little keyboard. Um, it is retro, in my opinion, because of the colors and the fact that it uses the big, big legends. Um, it is a uh, that is cherry profile. It has nice accents, nice touches. I don't know what this is called. It's like a futuristic ad, but it's just a cool little design that's been, you know, molded into the case. Uh, this, uh, I don't really know where live fast, drive faster goes. I would have been like live fast, code faster, you know, because yeah, you could be playing a driving game on here, but there's a lot more likelihood that you're actually code and stuff. So, but that's just me. That's neither here nor there. And I'm not mistaken. This actually feels kind of like a way. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this up the list. To get back into it. But I'm, I'm really surprised and really impressed with this keyboard. Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the I Love the B87, a three mode Q1K via TKL with a hot swap knob. It has a gasket mounted PC plate and a three and five pin hot swap south facing PCP that does not have screw and stabilizer support, but does include hi fi layers and well attached plate mounted stabilizers. It is preloaded with Aster linear switch from I Love B, which has a 3.4 millimeter travel and a 45 gram spring. It is also preloaded with double shot PBT cherry keycaps that come measuring in at 1.5 millimeters. It has a 3150 milliamp hour capacity battery and comes weighing in at 1069 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 22 millimeters off the typing surface, while the back sits at 36, providing for a default typing angle of 9 degrees. Raising the first set of flip-out feet will take the back to 40 millimeters and the typing angle to 11 degrees. Flipping down the final set of fold-down feet will take the back up to 46 millimeters, changing your angle of typing to 13 degrees. This keyboard MSRPs 
for $53.99 after a coupon on Amazon.com. Links below. Well, I must say, I am pretty pumped about this keyboard. Uh, not only does it sound good, it looks pretty good. I'm loving this keyboard, I, I, even down to the indicator lights. Got a protector on here, too. Other than that, they're just very faint. The light on the PCB diffuses quite nicely in between the keys. Uh, I like the fact that it has a hot swap knob and that they include a couple extra switches and the key. So you can make the choice and test it out yourself. You don't have to be like, oh, I need another switch or I need another keycap. You know, it's just there. Do they include extra keycaps? No, but this is a KL and there really isn't the need. Um, I'm kind of glad that they didn't do the sub legends for Mac, though there are some sub legends on here as far as for the uh, connecting to the different um, devices, Windows Mac mode, um, and Windows Lock, as well as, let's say that this might be light effects and the speed, lights. The user card does go over everything, but since it can be opened up in Maya, obviously you can make the changes to your heart's desire. Um, again, I am going to be reaching out to them and see if I can get a hold of the QMK source. Uh, when and if I do, I will put a link in the description, so I'll update it down below. And I will also do another video and see, like mess around with QMK and actually add some more functionality, who knows? Um, because I want to see about the knob because right now it just shows a switch. So that's one of the things that I, and I think that's just in the VIA file, but I want to get a hold of the source. But because I really, really want to see what, what's going on. Here. Um, I am interested in the CPU. I mean, I am interested in what MCU it's using and how it's constructed. And we'll take a look at that when I do come back to this video. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test um, of the I Love BB87, their latest TKO. And this one does not remind me of another TKO. I have not seen this model TKO before. So who knows if it's their own, very own design or one that they picked that no one else has. Like they have an exclusive. I don't know. But it has QMK, or as far as everything, all the breadcrumbs point towards the QMK. I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for when I come back to this keyboard, I appreciate the comments. A like, a subscribe really does go a long way, and it's much appreciated. So wishing you an awesome day, and until the next transmission, keep calming, keyboard on.